New tonight at 530. The flu season has been so bad. Chances are you or someone you know has gotten sick over the last few weeks. But after thousands of lab confirmed cases in western New York and dozens of deaths across the country, there is some promising new data that shows we may have turned a corner. Channel 2's Heather Lee explains. It has been a particularly bad flu season full of sneezing, <laughs> coughing, aches and chills. But here's something that might make you feel a bit better. <laughs> Experts think the worst of it may finally be over across the country and right here in western New York. There is a uh, glimmer of hope looking at the uh, surveillance data from western New York that maybe we've peaked and that the number of cases uh, in western New York are on the downside. We won't know for sure until we get a few more weeks of flu numbers, but the past three weeks of lab confirmed cases in Erie County show flu activity overall has been pretty flat. 608 lab confirmed cases the week ending February 3rd, a slight bump to 642 the following week, then back down to 605 last week, which is the most recent data. Hopefully by next week we'll see clear data that overall we're definitely down. Another sign flu season may be winding down. The CDC said there were fewer doctor's visits across the country due to flu and flu-like symptoms last week than during the two previous weeks. UB's Dr. Thomas Russo specializes in infectious disease. He said fewer trips to the hospital likely means the spread of the worst strain of the virus is also trending downward. There is uh, four types of uh, influenza viruses that are circulating in our community. Uh, two A's and two B's, and the A's cause more serious disease. And the data certainly suggests that the A's are on the down, and there's less hospitalizations, and so that's good news for everyone out there. Flu usually peaks in February, but Dr. Russo said it's not uncommon for the B strains to stick around just a little bit longer. And despite the good news, when it comes to flu numbers, there's probably a good six to eight weeks left, so still worth getting a flu shot if you haven't already. Now, next week, we're going to get the numbers for this past week, which included, of course, the long President's Day weekend. Dr. Russo said sometimes those numbers can be a little bit misleading when it comes to lab confirmed cases. That's because people are less likely to go to the doctor over the long holiday weekend. Midwinter break, though, could be a good thing because the flu isn't likely spreading crazy at schools across western New York. We'll have to wait and see, though. Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.